I'm so excited about this Super Bowl. No matter the outcome, the sports books, they're always looking for a big win. Investors may focus on DraftKings, Caesars, MGM, and starting Monday, FanDuel parent Flutter, it lists on the New York Stock Exchange. But our contestant Brewer joins us now with some of the under-the-radar plays when it comes to online sports betting. Yeah, exactly, because while those guys get all the attention and who's got the market share and all of this about the playoffs and the Super Bowl, really, I think that the investors should also take a look at the tech companies that power these sports books. For instance, Genius Sports is the exclusive NFL data provider. It makes money off licensing fees and revenue sharing with the sports books. And it makes three times more on in-game bets than on pre-game wagers. So what does it do? It packages the football feeds in this unique way. It has augmented reality, which means that the viewers can see the odds of a specific play. I mean, look at this and how much fun that is to watch, especially if you want to put money on the game. They then can sell this to, say, media companies for better audience engagement, and they sell it back to the teams which want more data to improve their own performance. Here's what they told me. Ultimately, we are trying to keep our customers' customers on platform longer, and one of the ways that we're able to do that is by delivering them a product that is completely engaging, that has integration, integrated stats and live odds and all of these different components that fans want to see as part of the experience. And it's really a duopoly because Genius's bigger competitor is Sport Radar, which has deals with nearly all the other major pro sports leagues and 90% of the sports books. Michael Jordan is a big investor. The stock is down almost 9% this week, though, on news that the CFO and the chief strategy officer are both departing. But this is a company that has an interesting strategy where it's gone around the world and snapped up the content rights for sports in like Colombia or the Caribbean. And then what happens is as international companies want to expand, they need the content to fuel the sports books. So they have to then buy it from Sport Radar. It's a, they're, they're really interesting tech companies okay. powering the sports books. All right, so two tech companies that really power online sports gambling. Uh, again, what are the names of those two companies? Uh, Genius and Sport Radar, and okay. both publicly traded. All right, bringing some new names to our audience. Um, there's another issue in the gaming space that's going on right now. It's, it's labor in gaming, uh, specifically in Las Vegas, ahead of the Super Bowl. Yeah, exactly. So what we've seen is the culinary union went and they made deals with MGM, Caesars, and went right before F1, historic new labor agreements that will give bigger pay raises to the culinary workers union there on the Strip. Then there were all these other more than 20 properties that still had outstanding or lapsed contracts. They have been able to incrementally go through property by property to get some of those deals done, but still more than 20 remain outstanding. So today they're going to be having an informational picket, not a strike. This, this time next week, if those deals are not done, workers will walk off the job. There is a strike already authorized and they're right. ready to do it right before the Super Bowl. So they said that they've already taken the steps of alerting certain customers. Your reservations may be disrupted if there's a strike while you're here for Super Bowl. Wow. Super Bowl in Las Vegas and this kind for of For the first time ever. I mean, like a ever. Huge, this is a huge transition in gambling and for sports because, you know, of course, Las Vegas and right. sports always were very separated. All right. We'll continue to watch that story. Yeah. Contessa Brewer, great to have you here. Sure.